We're on the cusp of a virtual reality revolution and leading charge is Morpheus. We're here to check out more. We're going to take a look at some of the cutting edge technology you could be working with if you enter the games industry. The white rabbit to guide me through VR Wonderland is George Andreas, Studio Creative Director at Sony London Studios. This is Morpheus. It is uh, an evolution, I would say a revolution, in uh, video game entertainment. Um, it really allows players to be transported to, uh, to brand new worlds and to, to be immersed in entertainment in a way that they've never been able to experience before. And how does that work? Uh, it works with a lot of clever technology uh, and a lot of, uh, a lot of really uh, clever people working behind the scenes. So we have a, a tracking device as well. So uh, there are LED lights in the front, there are LED lights around the side and at the back uh, and so we know the position of the head and when somebody is looking ahead we know exactly where they're looking and while they turn their heads we then know uh, to tell the software that the player is turning their heads. If they look up in the game world they'll be able to look up and actually see things above them. Brilliant, so can I have a go on it? Uh, sure, more than welcome. Yes. There you are. All right. Holy. <laughs> there you go. Now breathe carefully. It'll be fine. Uh, so as you can see, you're completely immersed in the uh, the experience. You're tilting to, to go around the corners. You can hit those traffic cones as well. There's some more coming up in a second. Try and avoid the cars. There you go. You're doing very well. There's a lot of Slightly tricky section coming up. <laughs> Here's the crossroads. Hold your breath. There we go. Well, <laughs> well that was pretty cool. Let me oh just, my uh... god. <laughs> <laughs> you survived? Yeah, just about. Just about. Just I think about. I lost a few limbs. But it was amazing. <laughs> no, that was really, really cool. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but. Um... Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> I, and I, I did genuinely feel a bit of fear where I clipped someone's tyre, um, but thankfully it disappeared and didn't, like, I didn't take damage. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Have you, tried, have you tried the deep at all? No, I haven't. Wanna have a quick go on that? Yeah. And before I knew it, I was being locked in an underwater cage for my next VR adventure. This time, I was going into the deep. Oh my god, my outfit's so cool. So I told you I was phobic of the sea, right? <laughs> yeah, but you're in, a, you're in the safety of a cage. Um, it's a bit open here. <laughs> Can you add grenade launchers to this? <laughs> here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eat that. That's it. <laughs> Shoot it in the face. Because that's going to help. Pretty good. <laughs> After barely surviving the great white shark attack, I thought it was time to meet some of the big brains behind Morpheus. That How was, was that? horrible, <laughs> in the best way. In a, in a good way. Yeah. 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 And how different is developing from Morpheus to de developing a traditional video game? Very, very different. Um, you pretty much have to throw away all the rules and start from scratch. You've got, um, you know, you, you can think of kind of themes and genres and use those, but as far as mechanics, simple things like just having somebody run about, you, the player, can make themselves feel a bit funny just by moving left and right too quick, so you've got to cope with things like that. So a lot of strange problems come up. You also get a lot of fun new opportunities, which is good. As a programmer, is there anything that you've had to unlearn from being a traditional game developer and you know, learn new tricks from Morpheus? Well, one of the benefits we have here at London Studio is that we've always been working with like new technologies like Wonderbook before and I Talk Play before that. So we, we're used to trying out new stuff. But there's definitely stuff that we have to, uh, have to uh, take into account for, for, for Morpheus that's new to us. 
uh, for instance, uh, working in camera space, in, in screen space, sorry, uh, is, is something that, that doesn't really work in Morpheus. So having like a, a HUD or a menu or even debug text while we're developing, to have it on screen doesn't really work. You have to place it in 3D in the scene for it to be viewed uh, good. So that, that's definitely a, a thing we've learned uh, while doing it. And how different is it developing for Morpheus compared to developing a traditional, you know, platforming game or a shooting game? I guess it's just the boundaries. Um, there's there's loads of because you're ren you're very rendering the screen twice, and um, you've got the tracking. We can't fully kind of throw a, a bunch of like, high res assets in there. Everything needs to kind of be optimized. Um, I'm sure uh, you've heard before that this you know the 60 frames a second is something that is a must with Morpheus. So, what kind of games do you think that Morpheus could be best applied to? So I think it's about it's about building those experiences from the ground up for Morpheus um, and looking looking at what's out there and trying to apply that. But you still have to kind of start from from the ground up again. Immersive. That was really immersive. Yeah, like I think it was when I was we were waiting to go down and I looked down and you could just see everything drop away and then at the end when the shark was attacking and I was looking up going get me out of here. <laughs> There's a big, exciting VR world out there. Personally, I can't wait for my next trip through the rabbit hole. Like, that was amazing to kind of just really be immersed in it. Okay. So good job. I'm actually quite sweaty oh, in there. I'm shaking right, a little bit. It's a bit warm in here anyway. That's good. <laughs>